The fight to end Alzheimer's taking a major step forward today. Earlier this month, the FDA approved the first drug to treat the disease in nearly 20 years. And the first person in the world to receive that drug, a Rhode Islander, happened at Butler Hospital today in Providence. Our Courtney Carter joins us with the details about the new drug and what it means for the future of fighting Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's disease affects more than 6 million Americans, including 24,000 Rhode Islanders. And 12 News was in the room today where the first infusion of a new treatment is offering some hope. Are we ready? <laughs> it was an emotional day, not only for 70-year-old Mark Archambault of South Kingstown, but his doctors and the Butler Hospital team. Lucky guy. Diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease in 2014, Archibald is a research participant at the Memory and Aging Program at Butler Hospital. And now, a part of history. Doctors administered the world's first infusion of a new drug designed to treat Alzheimer's to him. The drug, Aducanumab, which will go by the brand name Aduhelm got full approval last week from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. With today's first infusion, Dr. Salloway and his team will transform the future of health care. If it took another few years to do this, maybe it would have been too late for me. Dr. Stephen Salloway, director of neurology and the memory and aging program at Butler Hospital, says the drug targets one of the core components of Alzheimer's disease, the amyloid plaques that build up early in the disease. The drug attacks those plaques on the brain that researchers believe leads to memory loss. It's the first new Alzheimer's drug in 18 years. It's always, excuse me, <clears throat> it's always been our goal to develop treatment breakthroughs. The treatment is given through an IV once a month. It's a devastating disease. This is the first one that opens that door. Some critics in the medical community have been opposed to the drug because they say previous studies found it didn't necessarily help patients with Alzheimer's. Coming up at 5, I'll discuss more about who is eligible for the program and how someone can be considered for treatment. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News. Certainly an emotional day there. We also talked to Dr. Salloway as part of our Murrow Award-winning 12 on 12 digital original, The War on Alzheimer's. You can watch that right now on WPRI.com and in the 12 News app. An historic day in the fight against Alzheimer's. Doctors at Butler Hospital administer the world's first infusion of a new drug designed to treat Alzheimer's. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter joins us with the details about the drug and what it means in the battle against the disease. Courtney? Alzheimer's disease affects more than 6 million Americans, including thousands of Rhode Islanders. And 12 News was in the room today where the first infusion of a new treatment is offering some hope. Are we ready? <laughs> it was an emotional day, not only for 70-year-old Mark Archambault of South Kingstown, but his doctors and the Butler Hospital team. Lucky guy. Diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease in 2014, Archibald is a research participant at the Memory and Aging Program at Butler Hospital. I was hopeful that something like this would happen, but what's amazing is that it, it's happening for me. Doctors administered the world's first infusion of a new drug designed to treat Alzheimer's to him. The drug, aducanumab, which will go by the brand name Aduhelm, got full approval last week from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Dr. Stephen Salloway, director of neurology and the memory and aging program at Butler Hospital, says the drug targets one of the core components of Alzheimer's disease, the amyloid plaques that build up early in the disease. The drug attacks those plaques on the brain that researchers believe leads to memory loss. I think every Body who has uh, parents who had this are worried about it, and so this should lift, you know, their thoughts about it. That maybe they don't have to worry about it either. But how can someone you love get the drug? The hospital says you may be a candidate for treatment if you have early stages of Alzheimer's disease, known as mild cognitive impairment or mild dementia. And in terms of getting the treatment, the hospital says a referral from your current physician is required to be considered. Dr. Salloway saying although this drug's approval is a huge win, he only wants to build on this. It's always, excuse me, <clears throat> it's always been our goal to develop treatment breakthroughs. And the goal is to build on this. 
This is the first in the class. We hope that there will be many others. Butler Hospital says for those seeking this treatment, they will have more information available in the coming days. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News. You can watch our Morrow award-winning 12 on 12 digital original, The War on Alzheimer's, right now on WPRI.com and the 12 News app.